The analog ramp is a symbol that's similar to the analog increment. It's excellent to use in places where you need an analog value that varies smoothly. To get an analog ramp into your program, click the logic folder under the program view, type in the speed key, ramp, and hit enter. Alternatively, you can expand the analog operations folder under logic symbols, and then click and drag the analog ramp over to the detail view. Like we said a second ago, the analog ramp is similar to the analog increment. Probably the first thing you'll notice is that there's only one parameter to configure, and that is the ramp time. The ramp time tells you how long the symbol will take to ramp its output from 0% or 0 decimal to 100% or 65,535 decimal. For the sake of argument, let's imagine the ramp time is 4 seconds. One way to look at this is that I'll have to hold the up or down button for 4 seconds to change the output by 100% which means that it'll take two seconds to change the output by 50% and one second to change the output by 25%. But keep in mind, it doesn't matter what the start and end values are. All that matters is the change between the two values. Let's build a quick example program. We're gonna drive the up and down inputs of the analog ramp with the output of our X panel. And the mute button will be driven by a toggle. We'll set the ramp time to 4 seconds, and we'll tie the output of the analog ramp to the analog feedback on the X panel. Just for good measure, we're going to add one more analog ramp, driving its inputs the same way as the first, but we're going to make its ramp time 8 seconds. And I can't forget to feed its output back to the X panel. That's it, let's compile and upload our program. Starting with the first ramp, we notice that it takes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 seconds to ramp from 0% up to 100%. And like we said earlier, it only takes a fraction of that time to change it to any intermediate value. The same principle applies to the second ramp, only it's going to take twice as long to change any of the output values, because the ramp time was 8 seconds as opposed to 4 seconds. Notice that the mute button behaves the same way for the analog ramp as it does for the analog initialize. While the mute button is high, the up and down inputs have no effect on the output, and the output remains at 0%, but once we let go of the mute button, the output value returns to what it was previously. An analog ramp is great to use if you don't need to configure an upper bound, a lower bound, or a mute level for whatever analog process you're controlling. We tend to use this symbol in projects that have touch panels with hard buttons, like the TPMC4SM or the TSW750.